Hi everyone, congratulations on making it to the second week of class. This week we're going to examine how and why we read literature as well as the overall processes involved with conducting research. We will also be revisiting and discussing the guidelines for a productive and effective online classroom from our course syllabus. Let's take a look at what specifically you'll be doing this week and I'll provide background information, justifications, and tips for the activities listed in this week's module. We'll start by accessing module two of our Canvas course site, which is where all your coursework for this week is available. As with last week, please work through each activity in the order they are listed here. After you read the introduction page, which includes this introductory video, you'll be ready to move on to our first discussion this week involving the guidelines for a productive and effective online classroom that are again included in our course syllabus. Since this class belongs to all of us, and because we will be working closely together as a group and learning community, I feel it's important that we discuss and come to a consensus about what would make a safe and constructive learning environment for us all. For this assignment, I'm asking you to review the guidelines, take notes about any questions or reactions that come up for you as you review the guidelines, and then post to this discussion forum your answers to the questions based or listed in the instructions here that are based on your thoughts and opinions involving the guidelines. Your feedback will inform the adjustment of these guidelines as the majority of our class sees fit. Again, please read the instructions carefully for this assignment before posting to the discussion forum. And as with all the work you share out in class, please read what you've written out loud before submitting to the discussion forum for everyone to read so that you can check for clarity of your message beforehand. Next, you'll write a journal entry based on this crash course video titled, How and Why We Read Literature. The purpose of this exercise is to help you think about how we read different types of texts, which affects our ability to understand and effectively bring together a variety of information sources for our research needs. With reading and comprehension skills being such a huge part of our research process, we'll be spending a good deal of time this term practicing and thinking about how we read, think about, analyze, and utilize different types of information sources. And next, you'll complete the interactive tutorial titled Determining Information Needs. This tutorial introduces and breaks down different components involved with conducting thoughtful and conscientious research, and it provides strategies to help you conduct research in a more efficient and expert manner. Finally, you get to take a field trip. For this assignment, you're being asked to visit a local library near you, and this can be any type of library you wish and you're being asked to share about your visit as well as what you learned about the resources and services available through your library. Please read all the instructions carefully so that you know what to look for during your visit and what to share with the class. Please note the extra credit opportunity for this assignment that gives you points for spreading the love of your local libraries by taking a loved one with you on your visit. This could be a family member, friend, or even a date. In fact, one student in a past LIBI 100 class actually took a date to the library for this assignment and it turned out to be a really positive experience. So I'm just putting that idea out there for you. And as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to post to our general course questions discussion forum, or you can email me directly. Thanks very much, everybody, and I hope you have a great week.